this kind of uh, this is a standard equation and this is uh, how i can compare and all you can, you will be able to do this um, in your head okay here value of a is 1 right a value of uh, theta is equal to 0 and value of omega 0 is going to be equal to 50 pi <coughs> right so fundamental time that is t t is equal to 2 pi divided by omega 0 and if i substitute the values over here that is going to be 2 pi divided by 50 pi which is uh, going to be 1 upon 25 seconds you can if you want you can simplify this uh, you can write 0 0.4 0 0.04 seconds but this can be considered as end okay i hope i am clear over here third yes. third problem x of t is equal to 20 cos of 10 pi t plus pi by 6 okay here by looking at this a is equal to but do we require to calculate a and theta while calculating t do we need to find out no we don't require to find out so we do, we will not write this directly i will write what is the uh, omega 0 over here which is uh, 10 pi and i can directly write t t is equal to 2 pi divided by omega 0 which is going to be equal to 2 pi divided by 10 pi uh, which is going to be 1 upon 5 and t is equal to 1 upon 5 second this is my my fundamental uh, time now um, the homework for you uh, no, no sorry uh, we need to find out whether a signal is a periodic or not ok uh, so let me write first signal because we have seen the uh, peri uh, periodic and non-periodic signal so we need to find out so x of t is equal to cos of phi u pi t can anyone by looking at this uh, tell me whether this signal is going to be in periodic or not yes it is periodic why it is periodic presence of t no uh, <laughs> no no understand this the presence of t does not determine uh, whether it is a periodic or non periodic presence of t determines whether a signal is uh, whether signal is uh, this one uh, continuous a uh, continuous in time or not understand this okay so t does not determine <laughs> t does not determine whether the signal is periodic or not okay what else determines is that sine function and a cos function in continuous time understand this i am stressing that in the continuous time sine and cos functions are going to be periodic am i right yes or no we have seen basic <laughs> basic we things we know is that sine and cosine signals in continuous time are periodic that we know right and therefore this is a periodic signal now if i have to calculate the periodicity i can calculate it as uh, 2 pi divided by phi uh, pi pi is uh, going to be 2 upon 5 okay so this is the periodicity that is uh, the thing right understand uh, we have studied that sine function and the cos function are periodic and i am stressing again it is in the continuous time okay now second uh, case i will take and i would like you to respond just by looking at it sin of 10 pi t into u e of t will it be a periodic signal yes sir why can anyone tell me why it is periodic okay uh, so if it is periodic if it is periodic put p in the chat 
if it is not periodic if you think it is not periodic put np in the chat simple task okay if you think it is periodic put p in the chat if you think that it is not periodic put np in the chat okay so chaitanya only given that it is non uh, not periodic signal non periodic signal okay okay other all are thinking that it is uh, periodic chaitanya as you had given i am not saying you are right or wrong understand this okay but can you explain why you think that it is not a periodic signal so because it uh, it's multiplied by u of t exactly okay so it is multiplied by u of t so this if it would have been um, stand alone signal that is 10 pi t it would have been periodic right so it would add look like this it would add went like this okay but it is multiplied by u of t and therefore there is no negative component over here and sign will start up from zero and if i if i go back over here here you can see that a signal not only in, should present in the positive t it also should pro, uh, present in the negative or minus t okay this is minus t and this is plus t right and in this case in this case it is getting violated and therefore this is not an periodic signal i hope i am clear is it clear anyone is having any doubt anuj siddesh aditya sopnil rutraj mayuri sapna is it clear yes sir yes sir yes yes siddesh any question no sir no okay sir any term is uh, means multiply kar rahi hogi to uh, periodic nahi rahega na? no it is not the case understand this okay uh, for example if i have sin a into sin b okay sin a plus sin b is okay it i can write this sin a plus b sin a minus b sin a plus b into sin a minus b is there okay. plus na what is the what is the equation for um, in the, for this okay forget about this okay if i made it uh, little bit difficult for you and for me also okay suppose it is uh, sin a into uh, say uh, signal is uh, uh, what i what we can take uh, uh, sir yeah example lijiye uska a na cos a plus b minus cos a minus b aayega cos a plus b minus minus cos a minus b a minus b okay mm. individually this is periodic and this is also periodic do you agree with me right yes, yes. individually these two are periodic right okay so what will happen okay suppose a uh, signal it uh, this look like this something like this and this signal will look like something like this suppose okay also uh, this will go in the negative direction this also will go into the negative direction something like this okay and if i'll add this okay if we'll add this okay whatever the patterns are there in this time period those are going to repeat again and again do you agree with me just no do you agree with me yes okay so not necessary that if i am multiplying it uh, by some another function then it becomes non periodic it is not necessary understand this it is not necessary that it should become a uh, non periodic okay sometime in this case you can see that these are two signal if we are adding it okay in fact we get and uh, some another uh, looking uh, signal and which is going to repeat itself okay so this kind of signal we are going to see in the fourier transform 
okay we are going to see in the fourier transform right uh, fourier transform is nothing but there are signal which are added together and it is going to produce a new signal and this new signal is also an periodic signal that we will see in the fourier transform okay so the, i'll let me save this for there but here uh, just take away i wanted to uh, tell you is that uh, not necessary that if i'll multiply a signal by any other signal it does not become the non periodic okay it is not necessary <coughs> next uh, is very simple thing is that um, x3 of t is equal to e raised to minus mod of t can anyone tell me whether this is a periodic or a non periodic signal so and to understand this uh, let me uh, just plot this signal okay so for negative values of t what will happen with this is this is going to be e raised to minus mod of minus t is going to be e raised to minus of t so for any value of t it is going to be an e raised to minus t right so it is something like this okay and at zero then again it will do something like this is this a periodic signal no sir no it is not a periodic signal right okay because it is not uh, it is not repeating itself okay whenever a signal repeats itself after t it is a periodic signal this is just for your understanding okay now we uh, i hope uh, in continuous time it is clear right but in discrete time not all okay the, let me write this sentence not all the sinusoidal sequences are periodic okay we are going to verify this but understand this uh, it, it also means that in the continuous time all sinusoidal sequences are going to be periodic but it is not a case with the uh, this one uh, discrete time signal okay let's start with understanding of this uh, let's how we can do this uh, in the uh, discrete time right. x of n is equal to a sin of omega 0 n plus theta right so instead of t we have written this okay omega 0 is the frequency in the continuous time capital omega 0 is frequency in ct and small omega 0 is a uh, frequency in dt okay now this signal is an a periodic if and only if it satisfy a condition x of n is equal to x of n plus capital n and this is true for all n at that time it is called as a periodic signal right let me write x of n uh, let me write x of n plus capital n then it is going to be equal to a sin of omega 0 now this n i am going to replace with n plus n right so i will have the square bracket over here n plus capital n plus theta and this is going to be equal to a sin of omega 0 n plus omega 0 capital n plus theta i hope i am clear okay <coughs> now understand this uh, we have two signal x of n and x of n plus n okay so just not to get confused i am going to replace uh, n with the m 
okay in following terms right so now this term has to be equal to right something of 2 pi right and therefore this signal entire signal is periodic if omega 0 capital n is equal to 2 pi small m and therefore omega 0 is going to be 2 pi into small m cap divided by capital M or n which is in terms it is a fundamental uh, sample okay we do not call it as a fundamental sample but just to make you understand where we had a fundamental time okay and to have the correlation I am writing this we do not call this as a fundamental time the capital N is equal to 2 pi m divided by omega 0 now what is our aim to find our aim is to find m such a way that n capital N will be minimum okay here we have to uh, one very important constraint is that m and n should be an integer positive integer or positive or negative integer but it should be an integer it should be an integer m and capital m sorry right because it are these are number of samples so they, that we are going to represent in number of sample and therefore it should be an integer it cannot have the fraction small m cannot take the value of any fraction right and our aim is to find small m such a way that n will be will get minimum okay uh, it will be clear if i take an example x of n is equal to cos of 2 pi n right can anyone tell me what is an omega 0 over here can anyone tell me what is omega 0 over here 2 2 2 2 pi yes it is a 2 pi ok understand this this is the equation you understand this this is a standard equation let me write the standard equation standard equation is a sine of ok forget about this sine and cos ok just this is for a representation I am writing over here ok sine of or you can have the you know pi by 2 over here also as a this one uh, phase ok sine of omega 0 n plus theta ok if I have compare this a is equal to 1 omega 0 is going to be equal to 2 pi and say theta is equal to what is the theta value of theta over here can anyone help me Zero. yes Shraddha 0 0 90 90 so we represent in the radian right so this is going to be pi by 2 am I right it is a pi by 2 yes sir okay but understand this why I had used sine over here just to have the uh, representation in sinusoidal cos is also as actually a one kind of sinusoidal function with phase of uh, pi by 2 okay and here you can consider that theta is equal to 0 also so it will won't matter but this is a actual madam lecture madhe thoda na karu phone okay and therefore omega 0 we are actually interested in omega 0 right and if I have to calculate n which is uh, actually define us uh, define our periodicity is equal to 2 pi m upon omega 0 here it is going to be 2 pi m upon 2 pi which is going to be m okay so value of m to make n minimum it m should be 1 therefore n is equal to 1 ok and this is the uh, after 
uh, one number it is signal is going to repeat itself that is mean by this okay and it tells us that a signal is periodic i'll take some examples of periodicity and then i will take a uh, example where it is non periodic so it will be uh, actually uh, uh, it will be clear to you that how a signal can be a non periodic okay second example let me take is x of n is equal to e raised to j 6 pi n here can anyone tell me what is the value of omega over here you can put in the chat box what is the value of omega 0 Sir, sixteen in our. No, it is J. This is J. J six. Okay. Point. So if I have to compare this with the standard uh, equation, it is going to be e raised to uh, omega plus J. Uh, sorry, sigma plus J omega n. This is the standard equation. So can you invent me what will be the value of omega zero over here? Six pi. Yes, it is going to be six pi. I hope I am clear. Okay, and therefore n is equal to two pi m upon omega zero is going to give me two uh, pi m divided by six pi, and that is going to be equal to one upon three m. So I can make value of n as one by putting m is equal to Okay, and therefore this is going to be a periodic signal. Okay, so this is second example where we calculate the periodicity of a signal. Okay, third example. I know that you might be wondering where uh, when the non-periodic signal will come. Just have a little bit patience. Last problem. Uh, we have three more problem, and the last one is going to be non-periodic. Is sine six pi divided by seven n plus one. Can anyone tell me what is omega zero in this case? Can anyone help six me? Six pi seven pi. Six pi by seven, right? And therefore, n is equal to two pi upon omega uh, m upon. Omega zero here it is going to be two pi into m divided by six pi by seven, which is going to be equal to seven by three m. So if I put the value of m is equal to three, value of n can be equal to seven. And this is this is whole number. There is no fraction. This is an integer, and therefore this is a periodic signal. I don't have to put any fraction to make this a uh, uh, n uh, uh, integer, right? Therefore, this is a periodic. Next problem: e raised to j two pi by three n plus e raised to j three pi by four n. Okay, so here you can see that there are two Signals at uh, but just by looking at this by comparing this we can tell that both are actually periodic individually, right? With uh, say omega zero of of this I will write one as two pi by three and omega zero two is three uh, pi by four, right? <clears throat> and therefore n1 is going to be equal to 2 pi let me just write over here 3 m and n2 is going to be equal to 2 pi divided by 3 pi by 4 m and therefore n1 is uh, going to be equal to okay In this case, two to two pi two pi is going to get cancelled. This is going to be up 
3 m and n2 is going to be uh, 4 by 3 m okay in this case i have to put m1 and this is m2 okay m1 i have to put as 1 and here m2 i have to put as 3 so n1 is going to be 3 and n2 is going to be 4 i guess i have made a mistake so this is going to be up so this is going to be an 8 right n2 is going to be 8 now i have to calculate actually n not n1 and n2 okay for that purpose i have to take lcm of this lcm of this is can anyone help me what is the lcm of 3 and 8 yes 24 24 okay and therefore the value of this is going to be and 24 okay so if we have two different signal which are periodic itself what if i calculate n of that i have to cal calculate the uh, lcm of that and that is else that lcm is going to be the n for the combined signal that means it is going to repeat after 24 samples okay now x of n is equal to 12 cos of 20 n okay so how many of you have? yes okay. any problem with this or you are writing down mayuri no sir uh green shot gauge up okay okay how many of you think that uh, this is uh, uh, periodic please raise your hand how many of you think that this is a periodic one uh, please raise your hand okay i guess i had told you that the last one is not going to mayuri has said anyways um, understand this um, by looking at this we cannot tell whether this is a periodic or not periodic okay uh, so f let me just uh, write it down omega 0 is going to be an 20 am i right there is no pi over here so omega 0 is going to be 20 and my n is going to be 2 pi by omega 0 m and therefore it is going to be 2 pi divided by uh, 20 m and therefore it is going to be pi m by 20 okay understand this uh, even so 10 now uh, yes sorry 10 it is a 10 okay as pi has value of 1 4 dot 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 okay i cannot have any value of m such a way that which is going to be an the integer i cannot have any value of n which is going to be an integer so that capital n is going to be an the integer and therefore this is going to be the non periodic signal i hope i'm clear yes sir can anyone find out value of m for which the capital n is going to be and uh, integer provided that small m is an integer no right all right even though if i'll put the value of pi as uh, what is the value of pi what is the value of pi anyone 3.14 in the fractions if i to write 20 by 7 if i'm not wrong 22 by 7 right. so if i write this over here 22 by 7 m divided by 10 it is going to be an 11 by 5 and therefore it is going to be 11 by 35 m i made a mistake somewhere right so in this actually we are uh, considering that this uh, value of pi is like this and therefore we cannot have the value of uh, m as a uh, m as an integer which can give us n as integer okay 
so let's uh, let me take the attendance we are at the end of the lecture ओके प्रेरणा प्रेजेंट सर रितेश प्रेजेंट सर अंकित प्रेजेंट सर सूरज प्रेजेंट सर प्रेजेंट सर आदित्य आदित्य जानवी प्रेजेंट सर अभिषेक प्रेजेंट सर केदार प्रेजेंट सर सोमिनाथ प्रेजेंट सर सचिन प्रेजेंट सर श्रद्धा प्रेजेंट सर सोपनील प्रेजेंट सर सर्वेश कुनाल प्रेजेंट सर देवाशीष प्रेजेंट सर विशाल प्रेजेंट सर हर्षल प्रेजेंट सर दुर्गा प्रेजेंट सर वैष्णवी प्रेजेंट सर आदित्य प्रेजेंट सर ऋतुराज प्रेजेंट सर पल्लवी प्रेजेंट सर साकेत प्रेजेंट सर अजिंक्य प्रेजेंट सर रजित प्रेजेंट सर साहिल स्मिता प्रेजेंट सर शिवम प्रेजेंट सर चिन्मय हितेश प्रेजेंट सर सपना प्रेजेंट सर हितेश प्रेजेंट सर राजक्ता प्रेजेंट सर चैतन्या प्रेजेंट सर स्नेहल मयूरी प्रेजेंट सर मधुरा प्रेजेंट सर सर आई हैव सेंड द ईमेल ओके नो इशू यू एंड हु इज अटेंडिंग टुगेदर सपना सर ओके यू कैन गिव द अटेंडेंस टुगेदर ओके मयूरी यस प्रेजेंट सर श्रेया श्रेया ओके अनुज प्रेजेंट सर अनिकेत प्रेजेंट सर तेजस देवाशीष प्रेजेंट सर कुनाल प्रेजेंट सर रोहन प्रेजेंट सर प्रथमेश प्रेजेंट सर रिया प्रथमेश अभय प्रेजेंट सर ओजस ओके ओजस प्रेजेंट सर कुनाल प्रेजेंट सर सर कुनाल सोमगिरे प्रेजेंट सर सोपनील प्रेजेंट सर सोपनील दिवटे कौस्तुभ कौस्तुभ शुभम प्रेजेंट सर प्रणय प्रेजेंट सर तेजस पूजा प्रेजेंट सर ऐश्वर्या प्रेजेंट सर यश प्रेजेंट सर मिताली सर प्रेजेंट सर तन्मय सर कौस्तुभ कौस्तुभ प्रेजेंट सर फिफ्टी एट यस आई मार्क द प्रेजेंटी दोस हुए नॉट मार्क सर प्रथमेश नाम कर फिफ्टी वन इन द चैट बॉक्स 
ओके अदरवाइज आई विल विजिट यू अगेन ओके वेट अ मिनिट आदित्य प्रेजेंट सर कुणाल ज्ञानदा प्रेजेंट सर आर्य प्रेजेंट सर साक्षी प्रेजेंट सर आकाश प्रेजेंट सर आरती प्रेजेंट सर गणेशवरी प्रेजेंट सर जानवी प्रेजेंट सर अनिल प्रेजेंट सर निखिल प्रेजेंट सर सामी प्रेजेंट सर प्रेमचंद प्रेजेंट सर एंड स्नेहा प्रेजेंट सर जस्ट लेट मी रीड आउट द uh absent number because i guess 74 students were there and i guess less student had marked the presenting aditya roll number 7 roll number 15 roll number 28 present sir you should give the sahil rashmi 31 chinmay sir chinmay is there she put message in chat box okay fine uh Nehal, thirty-six. Uh, Present, sir. Forty-two. Sreya. Tejas. Tejas raising hand. Okay, Tejas Bunker is there. Tejas uh, Mohare. रोल नंबर फोर्टी फाइव रोल नंबर फोर्टी नाइन प्रथमेश फिफ्टी वन यू शुड गिव टाइम अटेन्डन्स ना ओके स्वप्निल स्वप्निल वॉज देअर ओके तेजस बनकर इज देअर ओके कुणाल सिक्स्टी एट Okay, fine. Okay, so those who had marked their presenty, they can leave. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Because only seventy-three students are there. One more had missed. Please mark your present. See and mark your presenty. Okay, thank you. You can drop from the wall. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. सो यस तो एग्जैक्ट मतलब डेट फिक्स हुई है क्या ऑफलाइन की एग्जैक्टली आफ्टर योर इन सेम एग्जाम वी आर गोइंग टू सॉरी एंड सेम एग्जाम वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग माइट बी वन सेकंड लेट मी जस्ट से व्हेन योर एग्जाम इज गोइंग टू एंड ऑन 15th राइट या 15th माइट बी फ्रॉम द 16th वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द ऑफलाइन बट एग्जैक्टली कम्युनिकेशन इज नॉट देयर Only it is conveyed that after your uh, uh, in-sem examination, uh, sorry, end-sem examination, we are going to start the. If you are want to book uh, train or something like that, you can have couple of days with you, so that you don't have to rush in okay. the yeah. in the exam, right? You don't have to travel on the fifteenth while giving the exam. So, a couple of days you can take for the traveling. Yes. Okay. Anyone is anyone Thank is asking any question? Okay, always welcome. So should we stop here? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Arya, you have not marked your presenty. Then Ankit. Ankit, have you marked your presenty? Yes. Kunal. Nyanda. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, you have marked your present, right? Okay, you can drop from the call, Nyanda. Thank you. Kunal and Vishal. Kunal and. Uh, Kunal and Ria you can drop from the call thank you 